thank you very much indeed. Those of you who've known me over the past seven years will know that I'm not given to prepared speeches, but I have a list because there are so many people that I need to thank that I knew I wasn't going to remember everyone and I still won't unless I had them written down. Firstly, the officials, thank you so much for organising this and organising the count. My mum and dad, who've put up with so much, not least me, for 38 years. Um, my agent, Chris Murphy, superb job. Tony Lee, this is going to be a list now. Barbara, our chairman, Dan, all my office. My parliamentary office, George, Steph, Chrissy, Richard, Fee, who is currently in Disneyland waiting for the uh, fairy tale fireworks. Perhaps not quite the fireworks she expected. Sorry about that, Fee. Um, Julian, all my deliverers, helpers, but particularly the voters who voted for me and supported me all this time and this election as well. But mainly, I'd like to say thank you to Bristol Northwest for all the friends that I have made over the last decade. I can't begin to list them all here. My councillors, the people in the community, I'm going to list a few. Cliff and Nuki, you know who you are. Mike Pierce, Ian and Kaz, without you the Bristol Free School wouldn't have happened. Norm, Karen, Dom and Cathy, lamplighters. Sean and John, shine on. My best Remainer friend, Andy. Dave and Nikki and Dennis and St James's, without you, I'd be less of the person I am today. All this makes me realise just what a privilege it is to be an MP and to serve. And that's what being an MP is. It doesn't make you more important than your constituents. It puts you below your constituents. It makes you a servant of your constituents. And that's what it's been my privilege to be for the past seven years. And you don't stand and win a seat like Bristol North West two times round without knowing that you will be one day making a speech like this. It's a bellwether seat. Not much lasts forever in Bristol North West. And when I thought about this speech, the thing I thought I'd say was, as an incumbent MP, you step away with either victory or liberty. I thought this evening I would say, ladies and gentlemen, tonight I get liberty, and I do. But what I really want to say is to my constituents of before, thank you for everything. And these are very, very turbulent, changing times. And to my constituents that were, and the country as a whole, I say, good luck. Thank you.